Hey everyone, welcome to Code Harmony. Today we are going to solve lead to problem ID one seven six zero, minimum limit of balls in a bag. This problem has been asked by Flipkart and Amazon, and it is a binary search based problem. All the binary search problems are not like uh, we will get to get the idea in the first go when we saw the problem statement that we have to use binary search. Some problems are like we have to apply the binary search on the answer space instead of the values given to us. So this is the same kind of problem and a very famous problem in this category is coco eating banana if you haven't done this you can try it out as a practice problem now let's have a look on the problem statement here we are given an integer array nums where ith element in that array is the number of balls in that specific bag along with that we are given an integer maximum operations like this so this is the bag number of bags two bags first bag is having two balls second bag is having 10 balls and this is the number of operation we can perform on this array and what is that operation let's say if any bag is having 10 balls so we can divide that bag into two smaller bags with some positive number of balls let's say 10 seven balls i'm uh, keeping in the first bag and then th th three balls in the second bag so this is one operation they are also saying there is there is some kind of penalty. Penalty is that uh, maximum number of balls in any bag is the penalty. And what we have to do is we have to minimize the penalty by performing these operations and return the minimum possible penalty after performing these uh, many operations. Okay. They are saying that we are given an integer array where these are the balls in a specific bag and we can perform these many operations on this array. And after performing one operation, we are able to divide any bag into two bags. Let's say dividing seven with four and six like this. So now after performing one operation, we are having three bags. And currently what is the, our answer? Answer is the penalty we have to return. What is the penalty? Maximum number of balls in any bag. When we did not uh, apply any operation, initially it was 10. When we applied one operation, it was six. When I try to again apply the operation, let's say again apply the operation on this, I'm dividing it into two bags, three, three size. Then my bags are one, two, three, four, four bags. And the maximum number of balls in any bag is four. So four is my answer. So this is the problem statement. Apply the operations on the given bags. And after applying those operation, whatever the value we are getting, that is our answer. So initially I was having two bags. So when I apply one operation, I'm having three bags, this two, four and six. When I, when I again applied one operation, operation one, operation two, then I got four bags in total. So I can directly say that if I'm giving N bags in the starting and operation is OP, then overall bags after the operations, after all the operation, I will be having N plus OP. And whenever we are doing any operation, we will just, we have to divide that bigger bag into smaller bag. So if we choose the biggest bag, because, because biggest bag is my answer, that biggest bag will be able to divide it into two, two smaller bags. So whenever we are applying any operation, we are getting better result. Initially, the result was 10. Then after one operation, the result was six, better result. Then again, after the operation, I was having result as four. So whenever the operation is getting applied, we are getting better answer as we have to return the minimum possible pos penalty, minimum possible answer. So we will definitely use all the operations. Okay. So this is what we have to understand whenever we are applying an operation, whenever we do operation, we are getting better result. Okay. This is understood from the problem statement and we will utilize all the operation. Okay. So if any operation is giving you better result. Why don't you just apply all the operations? Okay. We will be utilizing all the operations. So what is the number of bags after performing those operations? Initially, I was having two bags, two and 10. After performing number of operation, which are two in number, my bags are four, two, four, three, three, 10 divided into three, ba uh, three bags. Firstly, 10 divided into four and six, and then six into three and three. And the maximum value is four. So four is our answer. 
सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो नंबर ऑफ बैग्स विल बिकम एन प्लस नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन सो दिस इज द बैग नाउ इफ यू ट्राई टू एनालाइज यू हैव नंबर ऑफ बैग्स इन द आंसर वेन यू हैव द आंसर यू हैव नंबर ऑफ बैग्स लेट से दीज आर द नंबर ऑफ बैग्स एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ बोल्स यू ऑलरेडी नो वट इज द सम ऑफ ऑल द वैल्यूज लेट से सम ऑफ ऑल द वैल्यूज आर ट्वेल्व इफ ट्वेल्व इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ बोल्स एंड यू नो हाउ मेनी बैग्स आर देर इन द आंसर यू कैन नॉट डिस्ट्रीब्यूट दैम इवनली लाइक ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाई फोर इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो इफ यू डिवाइड थ्री 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 दैट इज नॉट अ पॉसिबल वे so what what i'm trying to say is that can we do this in this case that as we already know number of number of bags in the answer and we already know total number of balls we cannot distribute evenly because we are dividing 10 okay we are dividing 10 into smaller bags but we are not changing this two so this sum of all the bags divided by total number of bags this is not a valid uh, thinking so this is not acceptable because we are not changing 2 we are only changing 10 into 2 bags what are the two bags let's say 3 and uh, 7 and then 7 again divided into two bags so this is my second bag 3 and 4 so this is my third bag this is my fourth bag so these are my four bags and if i if i try to apply this operation total number of balls are 12 total number of bags in the answer are 4 can we have 3 as the answer no that is not correct so correct number is 4 so whatever is the bigger value we are dividing that so far it is clear that we are going to utilize all the operations and we have to apply all the operations on any bigger set then we have to divide that so what what you are going to do in this case because this even distribution is not working so now what we are going to do in this case here we were given this as a nums array and the maximum operations was 2 let's say if i tell you that maximum operation is 0 what is the answer in this case answer is 10 maximum number of balls in any bag okay so my answer will not exceed 10 and what can be the min least value of answer if we are given if we are given to apply some number of operation let's say i tell you apply as many as operation you can then every bag should have some positive number of balls so in worst case in the best case we are going to have one in every bag and we are going to have too many bags because number of operations are as per that so the minimum possible answer by applying some numbers is one so what i can tell you is that your answer is going to be in the range from 1 to 10 or i can say 1 to maximum value in the array here array was 2 and 10 so mx value was 10 so what we are trying to do here is we are doing binary search on answer space and the answer space is going from 1 to maximum value in the array both inclusive so let's say in that case the maximum value was 10 so we are going from 1 to 10 and the maximum number of operation are 2 so possible answer are only from 1 to 10 we can let's say i am picking 6 from this and i will see how many operations are required in this case 6 if i try to keep 6 as the maximum value in any bag so for 2 i i won't apply any operation for 10 i have to divide it into some bags so first bag with six values six balls second bag with four balls now okay i have applied it and the number of operation i applied is 1 because i divided 10 to this man and allowed number of operations to us is 2 and i applied 1 and my current answer is 6 so i will capture my current answer my current answer is 6 and i have applied used one operation but there is a scope of improving the answer so i will try to further improve my answer okay so that uh, i will keeping in mind that the operations are not exceeding the allowed number of operations in this way we are utilizing all the operations and keep keeping our 
value as minimum as possible. So six is okay. Six is fine. Six can be our candidate, but yeah, we will look for better candidate. So what is better better candidate from one to six? Let's say again, I'm picking four. If I pick four, bags will look like this: four, four, and two. In this case, I applied operations two number of times, and my value is four. So okay, four is a valid value. Four is another a good candidate. And number of operations are also two, so which is not crossing it, I can keep. I can again keep on trying for better operation. Let's say from one to three. If I choose two, if I am choosing two as my num maximum number of balls in any bag, okay. In that case, I will be left with two, 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 five times two. Number of operations are three, so which is not acceptable. So two is not a valid answer. Now try with three. If I keep three as my maximum number of balls in any bag, it will be something like this: three, three, and four. Ten is divided into this many things, and number of operations are two. Number of operations are acceptable, and this value is three. Three is also a good candidate because after three. There was two. Two is not a good candidate, so we discarded two, and this is the minimum possible good candidate from the range. So this is going to be my answer. My range was from one to ten, and I kept on checking every single answer. And how we can do it in that case? We can go binary search. We can use binary search to pick our candidate. I use binary search to pick six, and then I picked four. And then I picked two, and then I picked three, and after that we cannot pick any because the left, right in the binary search example is not is crossing each other. So what I did is left. I took took left pointer. I took right pointer. I am taking mid. Mid is my candidate. I will see whether this candidate is valid or not. If this candidate is good, acceptable, just accept it and keep on exploring further for a good candidate. So what is this? This is binary search or answer space. Answer is going always going from one to maximum value, and binary search algorithm is always take log order of n time, log of log of n time. Sorry, but when we are coming at mid, we will see whether the mid is valid or not. And what is this? Why? How? When it is valid? It is valid if we are able to. If I keep mid as a maximum number of balls in any bag, then answer is mid definitely because it is the maximum number of balls. And we'll just try to see how many operations are needed to make mid as our answer. So, if the number of operations needed is crossing the number of operations given in the problem statement, then discard it. If it is less than equal to the operation number given in the problem statement, then accept it. So, this is a valid function. In this valid function, we are iterating over the array, iterating over the given array. So, in that case, this iteration is going to Give us order of n time. Now, what is the time and space complexity of this approach? Time is initially I did binary search on the answer space. Answer space is going from one to maximum value in the array, maximum number of balls initially. Let's say the maximum value number of balls is k, so it will be log of k. And now, uh, now I need to know whether this mid value is valid or not. The valid function of binary search. to calculate that valid function we are iterating over the given array given array of 0 to 2 to to uh, to find the maximum number of operation required in this case so for mid value what are the operation required this we can check by iterating over the given nums array so every valid function is taking linear time taking one whole iteration so valid function complexity is going to be log of order of n So overall, it is n into log of k. So this is the time complexity, and for space, we are not taking any extra space in this case. So space complexity is constant. So that's all about the approach, and we will quickly code this problem. Here we are clear that we have to use binary search on answer space. Answer space will go from one till the maximum value. So I am taking two variable, left and right. Uh, initially let's call it zero right should be pointing to the maximum value find the maximum value iterate over this nums array now right be pointing to the maximum element 
and I need to get my answer. Uh, let's say my answer initially is the right, the maximum possible answer. In the end, answer is going to be returned. Now I will use binary search. While left is less than equal to right, I will keep on finding mid. Mid is my candidate for that uh, specific step. And then I will see whether that candidate is fine. If that is fine, capture that value in the answer and keep exploring the better candidate. Mid is equal to left plus right by two. If valid, mid. Mid is valid. Let me pass the nums and max operations as well as a parameter. My mid function will check whether this mid is a valid candidate. It is a valid candidate if mid as a maximum number of walls in any bag will require maximum operation less than equal to this value. Okay, let's say if it is a valid valid one. If it is valid one, then this is my answer and we'll keep on exploring for a better one. Right is equal to mid minus one. If this is not the answer, it means that operation it requires is beyond maximum operations. So we need to use less operations means we have to increase the value of mid. So for that uh, increase the left pointer left is equal to mid plus one. So that was the whole binary search operation. And now I just have to implement this valid function. Private Boolean valid integer mid integer array nums and integer max operation. Now I will need to capture the operations required if mid is the maximum value. Int, let's say O is that value operation. I will be iterating over the nums again. Now let's say this num is having, let's say in the example we discussed, we are having at value 10 and my mid is, mid is four. Then how many operations are required? Let me show you by example, 10 is the value and my mid is equal to four. It means four is the maximum number of balls can be in any bag. So it will be four comma four comma two. It will be something like this. So 10 is one bag is divided into three bag. So how many operations are required? Three bags in the final one and one bag initially. So three minus one. So number of uh, bags minus one. And what is the number of bags? 10 divided by mid. 10 divided by mid is two point something which is three. So we are taking seal math dot seal. This is num divided by mid. And now these are the how many bags final bags required minus one because one was initially already there. Okay. This is the value of my operation. Return type of seal is uh, double. So I also need to convert it to the integer. Okay. This is the operation current number of operations so far. If at any stage, if this operation is surpassing the maximum number of operation, we can directly return false. This is not a valid one. Otherwise, if we are not able to return false in any of the iteration, in the end, if we are coming here, it will, it will definitely be true. It means it is a valid mid. So capture it and keep exploring on the left side to get a smaller value. Okay, so this much was the solution. Binary search is our main logic and this valid and this is the logic for the valid function. This logic is order of n time and this is a log of n operation. I'm submitting the problem. Okay, so what is wrong here? Here I'm taking a seed value of int already an integer value. So I need to tell it that, okay, give me double value so that I can make a seal. Submitting again. Submit it successfully. I hope you have understood the approach. In case you have any doubt, you can comment down below. Thank you.